called Baba, who was like the bane of his no. existence. No, 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 no. He had no. a pet monkey called Baba. His mother, Tippy Hedren. Like, that's, <laughs> like, that feels like an anecdote about like old Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so when he was growing up, took you to Studio 54 when you were seven. <laughs> mm, yeah. But, uh, the monkey and Brando were enemies and... Uh... But he's he's doomed to be one of those guys... Who is it? What's his name again? Jay Baruchel. He's doomed to be one of those guys who's in everything but is never officially famous because people just go, um, oh, like it's not... Like a J.K. Simmons type of thing. No, he's what, famous. Show me, show me like those guys of... who can just never get the knighthood, no matter what they do. They just never quite get it. J.K. Simmons is exactly right. I didn't know who you meant. Yeah. Recognize his face. Yeah. He's in everything. Yeah. That's mm. what I'm talking about. I feel yeah. personally attacked by you making fun of people who are ubiquitous without being outright famous. <laughs> 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 and our guest today is J.K. Simmons. It's <laughs> lovely to have you here. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's, in- it's incredible what they did with the Irishman technology to get you in all those movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've, we've brought you these pictures of the Spider-Man to make you feel at home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spider-Man! <laughs> wow, you, can, you do a very good American accent. I've watched a lot of Spider-Man films. Uh-huh. Uh, and how do you rate, rank them? Oh, well, I mean, how but much time have we got? you bring prepared, right? You have, you're oh, ranking of the... uh, I don't, I... Sorry, this was on the Google Doc. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? Who's your least favorite Spider-Man? Animated so, included. I absolutely... I think Tom Holland is a great Spider-Man because I love the fact that he was actually a little kid when he started and he captures some of the like gawkiness of Peter Parker. I do think, actually, all three of the live-action actors have brought something interesting to it, but I, I, Tom Holland is my personal favourite. I have a lot of emotional affection for Tobey Maguire because I was a teenager when those movies came out. But the fucking Spider-Verse is so good. I also thought No Way Home was brilliant because I thought it found organic ways within the mechanics of the plot to incorporate fan service, which not, all of the other films have, that do that have not managed to do. Mm. I've genuinely got a lot of... I don't think anybody... I don't think you want to start a conversation about the <laughs> Spider-Man movies with me. I think it would be... Occasionally, mm. people... I can't remember... I, I did like a talking head thing for... A, like, they were like... We're talking about the Spider-Man films. You want to come and be a talking head? And I was like, uh, yes, please. Mm-hmm. And there was a moment where I saw the people who were making a documentary about the Spider-Man films eyes glaze over in a lack of interest at how many opinions I had about the <laughs> Spider-Man. Thank <laughs> <laughs> God, his mic. This is too much. It's like like, like you're, you're you're in the clinical trial. You're a little too excited to like be like, oh come on, you can put it in my arm to, to get the flu. Yeah. Here's just, a qu- just say Tobey Maguire looks weird. That's yeah. it. Here's a question. Do you like technology web Spider-Man or organic transformation web Spider-Man? I mean, I like, I thought that that was quite a neat twist on it in the Tobey Maguire movies. It's not in the comics. He does build his own web shooters, but yeah. that's that one bit is the one legacy of James Cameron's attempted script for Spider-Man that was never made. But oh. The final version, the Sam Raimi version, the only legacy of, uh, James Cameron's script is that the organic web shoes. I think it would have been fun if we could have seen what Spider-Man would have done at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. You know, <laughs> mm. we, could, we could say, "Hey, can a spider survive several thousand atmospheres of pressure?" <laughs> Tune in. Let's find out. Yeah, yeah, depending on the spider, I suppose. The web material is very strong. Yeah. <laughs> it made the Titan submarine out of that. Uh-huh. Could have been a different. Story. That's a topical reference for this thing that's intended to be released in possibly months. It's not even that topical now. I'll yeah. be honest with you. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, yeah. remember Pharrell's big hat? <laughs> yeah. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. um, so I, I did something recently. Uh, mm-hmm. I decided to start looking up government departments on Google Maps and seeing how people have reviewed them. Um, right, okay. That's the most Riley thing I've ever uh-huh. heard in my life. <laughs> so, that's what I assume you do late at night. Yeah. If I have to picture what you're doing at home, that's what I think you're doing. I, 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 look, people, watchers of this show will know that I like to idly go on Google Maps and just look at stuff. You know, I'm a I'm a big fan of. And you would like the satellite photo? Yeah, they'll all know this. This is all. You're like yeah. a macro peeping tom. <laughs> <laughs> I have so Just much. Them all living there in one big city. That's what you like. <laughs> uh, let me see what you think about the treasury. Uh, yeah. So I found one guy who I enjoy. Um, a guy called No. He was a local guy, level five. Hundreds of reviews off of No. Wow. Level five. Yeah, I like that you get ranked on your yeah, Google Maps you, reviewing. I didn't. I wasn't. I'm not familiar with this. Is there a sort of grading system for people who review on Google? Evidently, <laughs> you get is that, a, is that a level five? 
Is yeah, a, out of how many? Yeah. I have no idea. It'll translate to military ranks when Google takes over yeah. the uh, country. But for now, it's just reviews. This guy's so. technically a color sergeant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so color sergeant no, regarding yeah. Pets Corner in Guildford, says, shop here regularly because the only store near us that sells can again for our cat. Also right. stocks treats we cannot get elsewhere. Staff are polite and helpful, which also keeps us coming back. Ellipsis. You can tell Eno is not a young person. Mm-hmm. Space ellipsis, too. Yeah. Sp- period space ellipsis. Yeah. My dad always Ooh, does that, which is it's odd. It's typewriter training. Yeah. It, what, space? If you didn't put a space, the, the full stop would, could be obscured by the end of the letter. So like the, that's why oh. all, all the, those old fucks are always constantly putting spaces between everything, because they've got that double space typewriter mindset. Like mm-hmm. old printers. How do you know about this? Because I, so, I got so irritated <laughs> with boomers <laughs> tweeting with like a constant ellipses. And, and like talking like they're in a suspense thriller, <laughs> <laughs> just just like just like uh, some guy who's like you know seventy three tweeting at Re- Emma Raducanu like good job at Wimbledon today dot 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 let's hope you can repeat it dot dot <laughs> like, but, and then all the spaces and so nice I look, I, tennis you've got there it would be a shame if anything were to happen <laughs> to it. <laughs> But I, I had to look mm. it up because I was like, they all do it. So it must be yeah, from a common source. Wow. They Great. all do it, though. It goes back to the Conference of Rome. <laughs> yeah. the boomers got it's together. It's Morse code form, wah-ha-ha. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's weird. I feel like my dad must have been born in the exact year that gives you the frequent ellipses, but also sort of deep-cut Steely Dan references that I get in my text from him. So it will be like, my son, dot, 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 you are sizzling like an isotope. <laughs> <laughs> is your dad flirting with you? <laughs> yeah, because that's um, that's from that's from like this, the song "Negative Girl," where the narrator of the song is flirting with the object of. I don't think he remembers, uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't think he's flirting so with me. So he's like the young. You think he's the youngest double spaced ellipsis user? He must you think be that's the... the start of the process. Yeah. Oh no, the end of the process. You yeah. think that's the, the the Steely Dan generation? Yeah. <laughs> Was, he was, That's the cutoff. He was born in, I think, 56. Right. Uh, st- everybody steal my dad's identity. <laughs> you don't, don't know enough about him. Uh, yeah. uh, his mother's maiden name is... <laughs> his um, password is Purdy Shuffle 123 <laughs> <laughs> um, And we do know the oh name of his God. first pet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, we do know that, don't yeah. we? It, oh, is, it is deep Riley lore that his father was raised with a pet monkey. Called what? Baba, who was like the bane of his no, existence. No, 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 no. Wait, he had no. a pet monkey called Baba. What was his mother Tippy Hedron? Like that's <laughs> like that feels like an anecdote about like old Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so when he was growing up, and then he took you to Studio Fifty Four when you were seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the monkey and Brando were enemies, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So his mum had a, a rhesus monkey that they bought from a dealer in Montreal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they kept it like for Like a, a Joe Exotic, but in Canadian. No, no, like a guy on a corner. You want a monkey? <laughs> and a monkey. Stretch. <laughs> yeah. There's a, gu- a, guy, a guy who has zero understanding of metaphor being like, you want a monkey for your back? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You go. Are you looking to research blood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have the primate you are looking for. So, had a rhesus monkey called Baba. And uh, apparently the monkey was a fucking nightmare <laughs> because he grew up in like a town in northern Quebec where there aren't supposed to be monkeys. Yeah, he mm. was acting reasonably according yeah. to its yeah. surroundings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, bought, I bought a rhesus monkey from a dealer in Montreal <laughs> is a Tom Waits lyric. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine growling that over some banjo. <laughs> I'd love that. Um, the monkey was a nightmare. The monkey not, did my taxes. Yeah. <laughs> They're not supposed to be that far north. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's right, Tom. That's right, Tom. They're not. Unrelated, but I also once uh, went on a date to a karaoke with a guy, and he insisted on singing three Tom Waits. Whoa. <laughs> what was it? That is a rogue. <laughs> In terms of rogue <laughs> karaoke choices, that's just below, like, him. That's yeah, like yeah, three yeah. places below all things bright and beautiful. But th- that's like that's the, like that's so close to the, a joke in succession. 
when yeah, yeah. Conor Roy sings it. when he sings Leonard Cohen in yeah. a karaoke. Like that's... I didn't even know that happened. Yeah, no, Wait, I lived it. Wh- so, okay, so hang on. Like, what songs? I lived it. Was it just what's he building in there? Three times. Wait, there's the one, the, the one about um the, the sex worker at Christmas or New Year's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. sang that all the time. What? Wow. Yeah, it was so dark. Yeah, you got like, the Northern so Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Did he not sing Martha? That's at least like a romantic song. Oh no, 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 no. So what are you doing at this point? I can like I went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the bathroom for more heroin. Oh, wow. Like, oh, God. <laughs> wow, three. <laughs> Because he was like trying to impress me with his niche music knowledge. She's like, not I'm not karaoke. like other boys. I like Tom Way. Not a karaoke. <laughs> it's really not understanding the medium. I'm there singing that? Shania Twain. He's like, I got one line though. <laughs> <laughs> you finish you. Oh my god. Did, did he do did he do them back to back? Or were you was it like Tom White's Shania Twain? Tom White. <laughs> it was like he started one, he's like, No, 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 this is the wrong one, so we changed it to another Tom oh. White. I thought he was like, Oh, I, I it was the oh, wrong silly. one. Oh silly, why would I sing Tom Waits? And then It was just Tom the Waits. wrong Tom Waits song. No, not this Tom Waits song. <laughs> that would be sophomoric. Yeah. No, there's a much more <laughs> suitable Tom obvious. Waits track for this vibe. <laughs> Did he seem uh, like he had the the soul of the road in him? Did he seem like uh, he was Tom Waits and himself a little bit? I don't know. I was in the bathroom. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, this has actually reminded me of uh, my girlfriend recently told me a story that her dad went surfing with like her brothers and a bunch of his friends. And uh, they were in the bar after like surfing all day, and everyone was putting a song on the jukebox. And her dad relayed this to her as I panicked and I put on the sound of silence, <laughs> 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 which is such a perfect thing to like. I can I can just envisage that just to be like a name a song, any song, and just all you've got in your head is the sound of silence <laughs> by Simon <and> Garfunkel. <laughs> Uh, the fastest I've ever, my brother says the fastest he's ever seen me move in my life was when we were at a, a family wedding. And the night before the wedding, we had like a whole big family event with uh, the bride's family and the groom's family. And it was a huge family event. There were lots of older people there. And my cousin, who at the time probably was about 12 years old, his favorite film was Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping, which is a fantastic opinion. It's a great movie, but there's a song in that where the lyrics are finest girl. I, I, I don't know how to contextualize this, but the chorus line is, she said, fuck me like we fucked Bin Laden. I think it's like a parody of like yep. pop star's weird, like yes. right wing opinions. And it's so funny. But this 12 year old little shit got hold of the Spotify playlist and I just heard the beginning of the song and had to like dive across <laughs> four people to stop fuck me like we fucked Ben Laden raining out across the family too. <laughs> it was really incredible. Olga, I'm so sorry to yeah. keep returning to this. So you went to the karaoke booth, yeah. just the two of you in the booth. Yeah, as like a cute little date. Yeah, cute little date. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so it's just, oh. two. just the two of you? Yeah. Just that's, the two of that's us That's much right worse. There. Yeah, like a private... Uh-huh. Yeah. A private... Have you guys not... It's like, I, yeah, I love a karaoke I just, date. I just assumed with karaoke there would be more people there. You I know, feel I love like a private two karaoke. is below you can, like, the minimum. Of- yeah, but also, the karaoke in London is... is- it's booth oriented. No, yeah. I, I understand that, but you still typically would have at least four or five people. I, I, I will admit, I've only ever been in a karaoke booth with at least five people or six people. Okay, but I enjoy the privacy of a karaoke. You like the one on one? Yeah. Wow, you this, serenade each other. That's that- much worse than. <laughs> this is a much like more a karaoke frightening. booth where on the, there's like a sign that says like please wipe clean our TVs <laughs> please leave this karaoke booth as you found well, it I, I would say I immediately understood that it was just the two of you and that's why I've been I, I know everybody's trying to get back to these Google reviews oh, but no, I, no, 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 no. I cannot leave the darkest day I've ever heard of in my entire life What? so there's yeah. two of you in the booth he's yeah. like let's light a couple of songs up yeah. you go Cool. Let's go, girls. Dun, yeah, dun, yeah, yeah, dun, yeah. Like, you're yeah. straight in. Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, okay, here's the first of three Tom White songs. <laughs> uh-huh. No, don't. I'm going to lighten it up later. I'm going to play Hurt by Johnny Cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start getting into, like, the weird Shania Twain stuff to compete. Like, <laughs> like that. What's the Shania Twain song where the, the first lyric is just her going, Cool. <laughs> I don't know. Not even I don't it's know. On, it's on Come On Over. It's a, It sounds very funny. It feels like it should be a meme, but I feel like the teenagers haven't picked it up yet. It's just like it's just like a few bars of intro, and then she just goes, 
cool. And then, they're just, <laughs> and then they're like, aren't lyrics again for a few more seconds. <laughs> it's it's very good. I like it when in any song where the, the singer themselves are either describing what you hope you'll take from their song. Yeah. Or describing what they hope will be happening when their song is being played. E.g. cool or everyone have a good night. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Kiss do a lot of this. They're very funny to me because they're just constantly going, everybody rocking out tonight. <laughs> well, you, well, no, you're Kiss. You're, you are. Yeah. Hey, I'm on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> you're just hoping that I am because you like to imagine that's what your music will do. I'm mm. trying to lighten things up after three top yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes out to anyone on a one-on-one -on -one karaoke date. He's trying to raise the vibe back up yeah. after someone just did Anywhere I Lay My Head. <laughs> this song's called Clear the Air. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not that deep. Did he, have, yeah. did he have a trench coat and like a cigar? I, I, mm. I, I, this is well, like Columbo. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just, one just one more, more thing. thing. Just one it's more song. It's another Tom Waits song. Earlier, when you were singing Shania Twain. My, my wife's a big fan of Tom Waits. <laughs> I, I think this is one of the most rogue moves I've ever heard anyone execute on a date. Powerful. It's mm. it, and and I love Tom Waits, but I think this is one of the most rogue moves I've ever heard this, anyone. He was a good Spider Man, I thought. <laughs> I would fucking love Tom Waits' Spider-Man. Uncle Ben. Uh, That's a few pictures of Spider-Man for you. These are haunting. <laughs> in an alley, he's kind of silhouetted. I just feel like if he wears the little hat, people are going to recognize him immediately. He shouldn't wear it over his uniform. He's got a little toothpick stand in the mask. <laughs> Come with Spider-Man. That's one of the roguest fucking moves I've uh, ever heard. It's, it's like shooting the moon in hearts, though, because, like, if it works, oh, my God. If it works, it's an absolute, that's a one-hitter. That's yeah. an immediate marriage. If that, <laughs> if you meet the person that's impressed by you singing three consecutive Tom White songs in a karaoke booth. Yeah. She's the one. She's yep. the, yeah. Which is yeah, not yeah. a song we sang, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there was more Tom White. Could he do the voice? Did he have a deep, gravelly voice? Yes. I think oh, I'm, okay. I'm revealing too much information. Well, you want to carry every day with Tom Waits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> know a little place we can go. Yeah, came, in, came in third place in a Tom Waits imitating <laughs> contest. <laughs> After the inevitable diner meal. Yeah. After he came in third place. First place was just a rock tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. did, did, you, did you fuck this man? Of course I fucked this man, my love. <laughs> he sang me three Tom Wade songs. I needed to get him to stop. He put a shift in. He put a shift in. <laughs> but only with Tom Wade's songs. Just him still doing the voice, but during sex. That, that is... The funniest reason to have slept with someone. I slept with the guy to stop him singing Tom White songs in a karaoke booth. I saw okay. his, I saw him que about to queue up a fourth Tom yeah, White song. I know what's like, we gotta get he was, out. Yeah, he we was, gotta go. I'm too, I'm too horny. We gotta go. He was getting into the sort of accordion poker stuff. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pulling his face into the pussy to like smother it. Yeah. No more Tom Waits. <laughs> Is it now time to admit that I have no idea of a single Tom Waits song or what he sounds like? Really? Mm. Yeah. I know I he's can, supposed to be gravelly. I can call the guy. I got a date for you, Riley. <laughs> My can God. He, can he can he give me a master class or something? <laughs> I just I got no idea. Have about you seen him. The Wire? Yeah, I've seen The Wire. The theme song from The Wire is a Tom Waits song, uh, and it's the same song. Mm. Performed by different people, including, I think, in series three, mm. Tom Waits. Including, including that one fellow from the karaoke day. Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy must have been gutted. There wasn't a sick series of the white. He's like, I'm a shoe in for this. He's a, he's a sigma male. He's been watching one of those like weird TikTok pickup artist guys who, who's like, okay, here's what you do: you get into a karaoke booth, you sing. She's gonna sing Shania Twain or some shit. You ignore that. You proceed to sing three Tom Waits songs back to back. She will fuck you immediately. It doesn't matter if she wants to or not. She wants you to stop singing Tom Waits. <laughs> the, the you need TikTok's... to question, make her question her own, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> the TikTok's clearly filmed in like a rail yard with some hobos behind him. <laughs> I think this might work for the people you know. I'm on. I'm on Waits talk. <laughs> this is guerrilla marketing for Tom Waits, I'm on basically. Waits talk. I'm on TikTok. Uh -huh. TikTok could be a lot of stuff. It could. Yeah, Waits talk could be the waiters. You know, they're 
being like, ah, oh, yeah, when mm. tables are like this. Yeah, you got to do both, I think. Yeah. Well, wait, stock the music festival where the bands never come on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Milo. Yeah, That's sort go. of a not very this podcast. Joke. That's very, very good. <laughs> Watch Solid it. though. Watching TikTok makes me feel like I've gone insane and the world is ending. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that normal? Do you guys have? Is that? I, do you guys like it? It's mm. the. That's how I feel, but I don't know if it's normal. Yeah. Okay. I I saw some recently that's just like, like a lady sits in front of the camera, and then a bunch of stuff pops up on the screen. This is what I saw. And she just the does- ice cream lady. Yeah, just sort of robotic responses. Like, like say, mmm, ice cream, mmm, ice cream. And kind of the same, as though she's a soundboard. Yeah, and it's saying- It's so weird. It got stuck in my head, because she just keeps going, yes, 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 and licking imaginary ice cream. And she's making what? money out of it. Yeah, she's making money. Oh, I don't Huge like amounts of money. But who's paying for this? It's the opposite of the Turkish ice cream man, who's like, ice cream, ice cream, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I guess it's yeah. like fetish content? But it's, is it? it's so far, like it's, if it is fetish content, it's more upsetting than more direct porn because it's so hard to disentangle oh, yeah. what's erotic about it. What is it? It is fetish content? I had a friend back in the day who had Producer a porn Tom addiction. <laughs> who had a porn addiction and he wouldn't tell us what it is he watched, but he said the stuff that I was watching didn't have sex in it, and that was the scariest sentence anyone's ever said. <laughs> yeah. I was watching a man <laughs> sing three Tom Waits songs. Wait, so now yeah, I, I, I guess other addictions don't work like that because if somebody's addicted to heroin, you're not like, eventually I ended up with just water. Like I was yeah, just yeah, injecting yeah. Uh, just pure water in my veins. When heroin wasn't enough. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the fetish though? Because I was discussing this with some friends on that, about this exact video. Just going, Is it just that you can control what the lady is saying? But she's only talking about ice cream. Mm. What the fuck is happening? It, it, it's almost, because it's, it's, it, what she's doing is acting like a soundboard. Like, kind of like a robot, mm. basically. You're selling me on it. Yeah, <laughs> she's got like a filter on. It's kind yeah, of like yeah. a, like something like almost hentai-ish about it. Ah, it's unsettling. Weird. But then it's what? Weird. But then, whence the arousal? Well, yeah, it feels like the sort of thing where if it was in Black Mirror, you'd be like, "Come on, yeah, yeah. Charlie Brooker's off his head now." Come What's on, happened? Brooker. People wouldn't pay for this. Mm. Yeah. Lady just saying, I "Yummy, had... yummy ice cream." Two two videos on TikTok in sequence in that made me just throw my phone across the room. The first one was like a woman putting makeup on, and she's like, "Get ready with me for a funeral." I was like, oh, "Absolutely no. not, no, <laughs> no, no." no. no. <laughs> so just, like, maybe maybe skip this one. Oh, maybe that's no. it. And then I just, well, I, no, I'm so disappointed that you skipped that. I want to know what she was wearing. Yeah. <laughs> and then she, I scrolled up, and it was like a really cutesy ceramics account where she's like I'm making love bracelets like with beads but then she was mixing dried semen into the beads no, because on. it's like a love bracelet yeah and then I had to throw my phone so she wants her wrist to smell of sort of zinc <laughs> yeah. sort of horrible what does your cum smell zinc? like have I not made this clear <laughs> <laughs> Pierre has never had a pumpkin spice latte yeah. I still want to commission a show where Pierre investigates Fetishes called Wednesday the arousal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I still mm. think that that WTA. would be. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think that would be amazing. Channel Four is out of money. Yeah. <laughs> ITV that, would never touch it. Channel Four is the logical home for Wednesday the arousal. Yeah, 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 just sitting across. It's very... goggle box, and then you just say, "I'm hard." At some point. <laughs> I think the the thing will be that I'm never hard because the people never adequately explain to me why I should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just say you haven't sold me on this. So, I you, don't you know say what's good about this. This is Shark Tank. Basically, so yeah, you it's come in and but for fetishes. But for wanking. Oh my god, I love yeah. that. You present I'm your out. fetish. Shark, which, if you're a fetishist, could be a regular shark tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. shark wank, baby. That's it what it is. Wank. It's there incredible. Uh, Wait, course. Tom, can you just show us a bunch of fetish content? Uh -huh. We'll be the tank. Yeah, we'll put it on YouTube. That'll be great. <laughs> we'll yeah. just, we'll, just... We'll all the fetish content that you can put on YouTube because there's a huge amount of it. Well, it, by the mm. sounds of things, your poor addicted friend was not watching stuff that wouldn't have been allowed on YouTube. Yeah, probably. Mm. Oh, like yeah. It's, it's like yeah. women mashing tomatoes with their feet in a bathtub, like stuff like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The guys should check out Italy. But, it's <laughs> on my channel. but at least, like, even that, right, compared to this weird ice cream robot lady, right. even that I go, oh, okay, it's a foot. foot and bath, these are intimate, fetish-related parts of the body or objects that I go, okay, I've heard of that before. Whereas this was just like... Heard of feet? Uh, you, know feet? you gotta check out feet. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard feet. Yeah. I love the idea. You know, you know that new limb you were looking at that wanker too? Well, listen to this. Yeah, exactly. Wait, so listening to feet, that's an odd one. Yeah, there we yeah. go. That's ASMR. Yeah, we're four foot, foot fetishists. Two foot clap, two feet clapping. There's someone yeah. doing that fucking uh, horse's hoof, heart, coconut halves, clip clop yeah. sound. And a foot fetish guy being like, oh, yeah. Which is two steaks oh, and baby. socks. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got that same <laughs> sound. Slapping them on the floor. But now <laughs> this is what I mean: is all of this I can place in a previously existing architecture of of like, oh yeah, that's a thing for some people. But the, that's what freaked me out so much about yes, 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 ice cream robot lady was that I have no, there's no way to put that in my. I don't know what that is. That's like if you saw a porn that aliens watch and you go, oh, I have no frame of reference for this. Yeah. It's just good on their planet. That's is it like, fine. Well, mate, is it like watching when you see pictures of like Victorian erotica and it's like yeah. someone showing their ankles? You're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yes, this is yeah. horny. It's like when yeah. you find out that, like, you know, like in a, a burlesque lady like has a top hat. Yeah. And that used to be like, she is allowed a man's hat. So you go, oh yeah, it's a man's hat, I guess. My <laughs> God, we were so far from that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah we're post porn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really intrigued by the idea of a goggle box, but we're just with a panel of perverts <laughs> who are just watching <laughs> it. They've got their response button to On the a side of their well, well, I went to the to this. Very critical about it. Well, this is just normal pornography. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then the, the tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, the footage of the Tuscany tomato harvest yeah. comes in, and then they're oh, like, oh, imagine, yeah. imagine those guys at the Tomatina. They must be just firing off. There's no <laughs> refractory period of 20 minutes. Just bang, bang, bang. Get a Gatling gun. <laughs> I bet that guy, guy who's like going on like a sex tourism holiday, and people are like, where are you going? Vietnam, Thailand? He's like, nah, Pamplona. <laughs> <laughs> they have a thing there. Yeah. This is exactly what Mark the Week used to be. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> what a place for sex tourists! No, whatever this conversation. Okay, well, I just want to. I just want to go and look at Dara Breen's head. <laughs> that's that's my weird perversion. No, no, I don't want to touch it. Just that would to... ruin it for me. Yeah. yeah, it's about the glint of the studio light on the dome. It's about the fact that I'll never know the texture. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need. I need him. I need him to sit near me. And brush by me with his head, but if he touches me, it's fucking ruined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that what your friend was into? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this the same as the Tom Waits guy? Because I would love it if both of those uh, things were true about the only. same man. I mean, you could probably conclude Let's what pretend. the porn was, right? If it's the same guy, really sort of um... Tom Waits videos. <laughs> well, I was, I was, because you know, one thing I know about Tom Waits, it's just like a Jim Jarmusch. He sort of, yeah, yeah. Well, he, I think it could be oh, basically what? a Jim oh, Jarmusch film, yeah, like he's coffee and cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's just all I know about Tom Waits, 100% of what I know about Tom Waits is that he's a gravelly older man yeah. who sounds like he sort of eats cigarettes, Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> I can't name a song of his. I don't know what he sings. I assume he sings about gravelly older man topics like, you know, forlornness and yeah. loss. And, Hobo blues kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, kind of thing. It makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, I can yeah, picture it like a woman, stuff like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm going good. out tonight. I'm feeling all right. I'm going to let it all hang out. <laughs> That's a good Tom Waits. It's a great Tom Waits. It's a, uh, I assume it's a good Tom Waits. This is a very, it like a good one. very specific character. Uh, uh. Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Yeah. 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 Man, I feel looks like we made it. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I would love a massive album of. Like, how much money do you think we need to offer Tom Waits to force him to cover the least to Tom a, Waits song? A Shania Twain covers mm. album. Or just all whole... 14 tracks of Come On Over, <laughs> yeah. performed by Tom Waits. Just all the songs that are the least like him. Or I love the idea that if the guy who I went on a date with just did every song in Tom Waits, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, we can oh, do Shania, yes. I'll just do it as <laughs> The one that I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, have a, I have a theory that the the back of Shania Twain's "Come On Over" has the most exclamation points on it of the back of any album <laughs> in history, because almost every song has an exclamation point in it somewhere, but in a quite random place, like in a very sort of uh, Panic at the Disco style. <laughs> game. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it, you're like, uh, whatever you do, don't. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's amazing how well, the percentage of tracks that have exclamation points in the names is, I would say, remarkable. Definitely, man, I feel like a woman has one, right? Yeah, yeah there man, two? exclamation point, I feel like, I feel a, like woman. a woman. And then a wow. second one? Mm -hmm. No, there's and a space and a dot, have dot, multiple dot. exclamation <laughs> points in. Right. So it might be an average of one per title, actually. Uh, do you remember that band that was just three exclamation points? Yeah, chick, chick, chick. Eh? Yeah. See, I don't. I, I I could name you one Shania Twain song, which is "Man, I Feel Like a Woman." Yeah, okay, you know, yeah. you're still the one. You're still the one I know. Yeah. Too. Oh, hold on. I don't you're know. You're still the one. I walk around too. <laughs> also, you know like that me. don't impress me yeah. much. I 
Uh, 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 so you got the looks, but have you got a touch? <laughs> Don't are get we, are me we wrong. gonna do like a like a? So you got a car? <laughs> <laughs> We gotta do this. You think you're Brad Pitt or something? (laughs) (laughs) Who is that? It's not even. even... Tom Waits unimpressed by Brad Pitt because he simply does not know who that is. (laughs) He's been riding the rails. He has has no idea about anything apart from places to get good stew (laughs) and other hobo knowledge. (laughs) He's he's fantastic at making a sort of can based recipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the only it. the only people who are famous to Tom Waits are people who have names like Bleeding Eyes Johnson. Yeah, 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 stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> That's the guy I fucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a guy, like a guy who famously has never been caught by a railway bull because he's so naturally greasy. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> that is the most insane image. <laughs> a naturally greasy classic hobo who it's impossible for a railway bull to capture. Hang on, can we just? And the phrase a naturally greasy classic hobo <laughs> is I think that's just a po- one line poem. That is an astonishing <laughs> sentence. Hobo classic. They tried to make hobo vanilla catch on, but yeah, no one really went for it. I was it's talking a- I was talking to my friend uh, Jimmy the other day. Uh which one's that? Uh the naturally greasy classic hobo? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. How's he doing? Hobo, hobo <laughs> classic is the deodorant that makes you smell worse. <laughs> yeah. well, no, I think I think naturally greasy classic hobo is one of these cellar door phrases from some uh, that describes someone who's frequently found jimmying a cellar door. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He's a naturally greasy classic hobo. <laughs> yeah. It, it, nice. It's it's you know I, what? I, I hate it when this podcast gets too Kerouac. <laughs> yes. He's so good at the steel guitar, people say he made a deal with Satan himself. <laughs> exactly. I worry I'm never going to stop thinking about this date, Olga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been nothing but good date stories out of you. <laughs> uh, you, you or your friends, just, just a gentleman making some baffling choices. Baffling. Yeah. We like to we like to give people chances. Uh-huh. We like to take chances on people. You should people. do a separate show called Wild Swings, which is where the when yeah. people have taken the wildest swings on a date. I can't believe we've got so off topic. <laughs> There's a review um, of HMRC or, here from Tom Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can, or I could remember this, the monkey business as well. Yeah. I didn't finish telling oh, yeah, you about Bob, the monkey, still oh, the monkey please, story. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, still how did you the draw us off topic with that wonderful Tom Waits riff? Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Wild Swings, hosted by Olga Kahn. <laughs> yeah. So, um, basically. Mo- the monkey was a nightmare, you were saying. The monkey was a nightmare. Yeah. Because my grandfather engaged in rock tumbling. <laughs> he was like, he, he used to get like little stones and he put them in like a polisher and we'd yeah. sort of polish them up. Um, or he collected coins or some nonsense like this. Yeah. Um, and then the monkey would sort of run over to the table, gather up all the stones or coins in his mouth, then climb the top of a curtain pole. And uh, I think my dad described it as pandemonium. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the escalation in hobbies. Yeah. It's like, yeah. well, I've got my rocks and my coins. And my monkey. <laughs> well, hey, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that one seems like a hobby from a different guy. But <laughs> oh, they don't get on. <laughs> the monkey's you... jealous of the coins and the rocks. <laughs> he covets them. <laughs> the monkey covets the coins and the rocks. What can I tell you? But you're a simple beast. You cannot understand the concept of a coin. A rock, perhaps. <laughs> Numismatists and apes don't mix. <laughs> this is what they don't tell you when you get into coins. It really... uh. You gotta pick one. It'll, you gotta pick one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? You... has no need of currency. Well, you know what they say? Uh, single coin collector, ape enthusiast, pick two. <laughs> 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 I think if I read that list of hobbies, I'd be like, okay, something's got deleted here. I yeah, missed yeah. some pages. I don't know how we got <laughs> yeah, from yeah. that to monkey. Rock, rock, I guess. Yeah, rocks, coins, rhesus monkey. You'd go, <laughs> uh-huh. oh no, but did you mean to... Like you read about them, or... <laughs> no. But your hobby is just rhesus monkey. It takes up a l- yeah. enough time that I've decided yeah. just to write rhesus monkey. He keeps me pretty busy, to be honest with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's, uh, he's yeah. demanding. I'm, unfortunately, if you can if you can hit him uh, gently with an enemy, uh, all the coins will fly off of him like the rings out of <laughs> yeah, Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so and then and, they, and uh, again, a sort of a strange, uh, a strange thing. I'll hear this got from how my dad texts. Then he just said dot dot dot. I fed her vitamin powder with a spoon. 
Um, about the monkey. I fed a vitamin powder <laughs> with a spoon. Yeah, about the monkey. He fed vitamin powder to the monkey with a little spoon. I think what? I think he liked the monkey, but he was the monkey ten. became too powerful after this. I'm surprised the monkey would eat a powder. <laughs> you don't think monkeys like powder? Yeah. Just off the spoon, dry powder. I, the monkey eating the powder is the porn your friend graduated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was when yeah, it got yeah, really yeah. good. It wasn't even sex. It was just a monkey eating powder. <laughs> you can only get it out of Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of that Montreal, a little bit of that Montreal monkey powder. If you know what I'm talking about. And, and I do, and people will be surprised to learn you're not speaking indirectly. <laughs> <laughs> An entirely black video cassette case that just says adult. On it. <laughs> yeah, I want a little bit of that Montreal monkey powder, if you know what I'm talking about. Powder du singe, So yeah, and then I think the monkey lasted sort of 18 months or so and then was returned to the dealer because it was causing too much mischief around returned the house. Returned to the dealer? With a <laughs> when I bought of... this monkey, I didn't think it would be mischievous. Also, oh, what a well-behaved monkey. This is the heist of the century. The monkey was returned to the dealer, and the dealer was like, oh, are you sure? And then the guy leaves, and then he just looks at the monkey, and the monkey just spits out some priceless coins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trained. It's an old, oldest trick in the book. It's the Montreal monkey switch. <laughs> You've been you've been conned, my friend. What do you mean you swallowed the powder? <laughs> I wasn't conned. I can't believe that that rube fell for the oldest trick in the book. If anything, it was my grandparents who were conned, and they're dead. It's like the you can get them away with it. What are they going to do? Press charges? They're are dead. You, were you missing any more of the more yeah, valuable coins? Yeah, the monkey's coins? belly isn't just. What is it called? Jingling. 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 Yeah. It's like Robert Redford in the sting. Like, we're going to use the coin eating monkey play. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever expects yeah. it. Everyone in the bar just nods. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. can't all know the trick or it's not going to ever work ever again. Mm-hmm. That always oh, You put bit. a coin in your hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. This, this well, the guy was... comes in here, you're a monkey dealer. <laughs> you got to sound all Montreal like. A wee wee. That's all. I, and I sort of remember. That also, it used to go completely mental any time the TV was on. Oh, okay. Got, yeah, of course, because it, 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 it's a monkey. <laughs> tiny people living inside a box in its house. Like, yeah. I, if I was a monkey, I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, yeah I was getting freaked out by the coins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey dealer being like, there is one thing with this monkey. It finds Ben Shepard's tipping point in fury. <laughs> it must never see an episode of that or Eggheads or Cash in the Attic. <laughs> It was raised by a man who called the TV the idiot box. <laughs> and he has acquired some of his views on uh, mass entertainment. The antics roadshow does not mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you show this this monkey TV after midnight, you're you're going to be in a gremlin situation. <laughs> like it hates Babe Station. Yeah. <laughs> is Babe does Babe is Babe Station still exist yeah. in existence? And how are the babes? <laughs> I think they're probably Locked fine. Up. That means that <laughs> that means that Babe Station's been going on long enough that they can have like a sort of class of 07 kind of <laughs> reunion. <gasps> Does anyone remember? I think of this because obviously there's lots of people like reading the last rites of Twitter, and people have been trying to think about their favorite Twitter moments. Does anyone remember when the cock destroyers? Uh, oh yeah, like. Commemorated the dead from World War One. Yes. <laughs> what? Yes, I remember this. Wait, going around. how do they do it? <laughs> On Babe there's Station. A, there's a tweet. Oh. I don't know if the cock destroyers are officially part of the oh, ECU, no. the Babe Station. Cinematic. Are they yeah. freelance pornographers? Well, no, they've, they've split up now. We've, we've, dis- destroyed. we've yeah, destroyed a lot of cocks, really? but yeah, nothing of destroyed more cocks than the sum. No, but it is like it is like that. <laughs> <laughs> like it is like there's the only way that we can truly be respectful is by. Uh, and it's a, it's a photo of one of the cock destroyers, <laughs> not like dressed in, like, but dressed in like a sort of cycling outfit that says cock destroyers yes, on it. Yes, that's right. And just like bowing her head solemnly next to a war memorial. And it's like hashtag Remembrance Day, hashtag cock destroyers. It's what, like what one was... of the all time great tweets. I never figured out what was with the cycling gear aspect of that. I, Maybe she was just cycling. I think, I think they were they were members of that. There is that. There's that porn cycling team, which I know <laughs> again Manchurian <laughs> Candidate activation phrase. There's a cycling team called Porn Peddlers. And it's all oh, like that's various, really clever. Like porn actresses, and I think it's all women. And, is it, and do they like, cycle nude? I don't know if the cock just, destroyers just, they are just in cycle. It. I think. 
Yeah, they they, they do it's sort of like to amateur their competitive jobs. cycling. Yeah. Yeah, they do stuff outside oh, their work, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, it's not directly connected. Oh, that's well, that's nice. Yeah. It's got a wholesome activity. Yeah, it's like when a comedian runs a marathon. <laughs> Pornography yeah. Cycling Club War Memorial is another. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a Wi-Fi password. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's got one of the ones. It's not like letters and numbers. It's three unconnected words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the problem. What three though. words? Yeah, that's yeah. that's the what three words for where we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the three words for the cenotaph is. Pornography cycling club. <laughs> Hang on, I'm on what three words now? Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Por pornography cycling cenotaph. There's pornography cycling contact, pornography cycling contain, and pornography... Oh, there's that's all photography. There's no... Censored you. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Okay. What three words has gone woke, apparently? They won't well, let you. Well, well. But I love photography cycling genotype. Can we see where that is? <sighs> It'd be very funny if someone complaining that the what three words for their house was rude. Like yeah. trying to take yeah. them to court. Well, you're, mine says, you're typing fat moron shit yeah, into yeah, my yeah. house. Are <laughs> <laughs> so you suggesting so what, what three words was invented to, like, just to make Get revenge on one guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole like, thing was about one guy. And yeah. then the inventor of all three words is like, my or, or, work here is or, done. Or if it's like a, I don't know, like a... Like Bad a, penis, man. Yeah. <laughs> a ser a ser a Owned. <laughs> or like poor customer service, just like on like a menswear like store. You can, you can buy someone like a vanity plate, what yeah, three yeah, yeah. words. Yeah, like when you can buy someone yeah. a star. Yeah. Tom Waits enthusiast <laughs> redirects to me. And it redirects to my, like, find my phone. It knows where I am at all times. Like, yeah, yeah, it'll yeah, always yeah. be where Shine I down. physically am. <laughs> just sending an email. Dear so-called what three words proprietors? Oh, regrettable customer service does actually exist. Oh my God, where is it? Uh, Palatka. What's Palatka? A mi a l the little tent? Uh, it's in, uh, it's in Russia, I believe. And there's one in Florida. Uh, no, it's in um, it's it's in Magadan Oblast in Russia. Wow. Oh, mm. that's the Far East. It looks like. Yeah. So it's what three words is very slow. First of all. Mm. Uh, I wonder what was so regrettable about the customers. Uh, those are just mountains. Yeah, it's just in the middle of a mountain range. A very poor customer service could be anywhere in Russia, to be honest with you. It's not a country where customer service is really a thing. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess you, you can, in theory, have a what three words that is disparaging. Yeah. Right, <laughs> in Russia would have the opposite thing where everyone's business would be riding in to complain that that business got poor customer service for their, like, my customer service is much worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got singled out specially for it. Can you look, look at for Trash Future Podcast? Oh, yeah, maybe. It's not this podcast, of course. I don't think podcast. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, where's Trash Future Podcast? There is one. Imagine if it's like just a picture of us. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's in Poland. Poland. Trash Future Podcast is in. <clears throat> you should go. That's so fun. Yeah, it's near um, Bid. It's Polish. It's just like, it's, it's Chinatown. Yeah, it's Polish. Don't try and read it. Yeah, it's Bydgoszysz. It's Bydgoszysz. <laughs> Bydgoszysz. It looks like it's near Bydgoszysz. So if, mm. so if you're a fan of the other show that's not this one, that this is being yeah, shot yeah. in the studio of, then check out our What Three Words location, which I have to emphasize appears to be in the middle of a forest on the outskirts of a medium-sized town. It's in, in the Polish woods. Mm. It's in the woods in Poland. It's in yeah, a town. You can make a pilgrimage there. You're a podcast fan. <laughs> Maybe yeah. there's a little shrine right there. Yeah, you yeah. think so? We should build one. So if Wait, your so porn cycling team is looking for somewhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know how sometimes in scary movies the, the, the killer has built like a kind of frightening shrine or mm, like yeah, there's yeah. a kind of altar or, thing? Or like a Unabomber. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But okay, so where would you guys put your frightening shrine in your flats or houses? Ooh. Which is like in the meter cupboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah under the, the boiler. boiler. Yeah, the candles yeah, melting I, from the bottom. Yeah, there's a there's there's a cupboard in the back of my fridge that has my that has the boiler in it. That would be a great place for a like horrible, creepy really secret shrine. Yeah, horrible, Ooh. creepy shrine. He's got a shrine, Nook. He's got a shrine. That, well, He's that, got a you, shrine. You had that locked and loaded, Nish. Yeah. Just, I could it, was, imagine it, a, uh... it came to me so quickly. It's concerning to me. No, oh, that's good. I would like an MTV Cribs mm. version of like... Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is my weird shrine uh -huh. to Linda, a girl I went to school with. <laughs> I, I, like, I like the idea of... Um... A, an estate agent and being like, and as you can see, there's a lovely creepy shrine here, but yeah. uh, you could use that as a breakfast nook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
or, or offering it up. This is a breakfast nook, but it could just as easily be a shrine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very typical shrine nook. Yeah. Very typical for this kind of know, building yeah. in this yeah. sort of area. I don't know if you or your partner have any prior relationships that you're not over, but <laughs> this would make a great place for a creepy shrine. You uh. could probably get eight or nine tea lights in there. Yeah. 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 Pictures, toenail clippings. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've chosen to use it as a home office, but really, uh, <laughs> well, you, you could got, do anything. You've got the A24 look. Are you haunted by the loss of a child? Because this would be just an excellent <laughs> creepy shrine. Yeah. And of course, the whole place is very flammable, so um, <laughs> you could burn down your boyfriend inside it if you want. That's always an option, although you probably would void your security although it'd deposit. Be, it, if they, the, they do the estate agent thing, uh, burn down your uh, boyfriend, husband, sorry if I got you in trouble with that one, you could burn him down in it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, excellent. I think, is that like the thing for millennials and Gen Z, Gen Z, is that we just don't have enough space to be serial killers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, There's well, no crawl space for the bodies. The body. There's no <laughs> shrine nook. Cramming, <laughs> cramming a body into like the ice box in the top of the fridge. Like yeah. you don't have a freezer. Yeah. 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 Exactly. My housemate's a serial killer. Yeah. 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 You're like, well, they're collecting smaller trophies now from their victims, fingers, toes, things of that nature. <laughs> Another thing millennials have ruined. <laughs> it's a big Telegraph article. <laughs> millennial serial killers aren't even keeping trophies. Yeah. If millennials are so concerned about so called climate change, maybe the serial killers should stop burning their bodies. <laughs> 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 yeah, you just get 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 the council around like no you can burn the bodies you just have to get a permit for it. <laughs> well, no, you now you can put them in the green bin. Oh yeah, that's right. They are compostable. Yeah. <laughs> Millennial serial killer recycling the body. Yeah. The thing is they charge you for the green bin collection. The garden waste collections they charge you for. They charge you for that in Herringay. Who can afford that? I mean, how much do they charge you? I don't know. I've never actually used it. I'm guessing probably quite a lot of people can afford it. I mean, I, I, I actually have. I pay for the garden waste. Do you really? Not because Ooh. I'm a serial killer. I just well, want to kind of well, well. It would be funny if it's check like, they nook. never check. Check his nook. <laughs> like, serial killers, like, I've been putting bodies in there for years. They, they just tip the bin. They don't care what's in there. Yeah, yeah. They're being paid £10 an hour. They don't give a fuck. They're contractors for Veolia. There's no way for them to contact the actual government directly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Veolia has no official position on the sanctity of human life. <laughs> More cannibals, though, cost of living crisis. Oh, yeah. yeah. Feels like a better well, way to dispose of a body. Everyone's doing that carnivore diet thing to yeah. try to lose, you know, shed the pounds. It's the thing, guys, like, how did, like, guy being interviewed years later, and they're like, well, how did you get into cannibalism? Because he lives, isn't it? Yeah. Well, still lives. Yeah. 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 Everything was going up. Not the long pig, though. Met a German in a chat room. <laughs> Made some yeah, anything alarming arguments. starts that way. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. went to a karaoke room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard some music of Tom Waits. <laughs> Even I was creeped out, and I'm a German cannibal. <laughs> Can you uh, tell us what the review of the Treasury was? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah what do they say? Uh, that's what they. So the Treasury overall, there's 25 reviews. On, this is HM Treasury. Mm. The address on Great George Street. Yeah. There are 25 reviews of HM Treasury. Right. It's got a total of 3.9 stars, which is... Steve Bennett? <laughs> <laughs> just won't give you what you need for the poster. Some of them are fun. It's like, nice building and talented staff, but the taxes are too high. <laughs> I don't know what would drive you to put that on Google. <laughs> what a place um, to put your whimsy. The yeah. taxes are too high. Uh, so, th sorry, I want to go back to No. Remember No from the beginning of the of episode? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Oh, yeah. Dr. No. Yeah. Uh, his review, of, his or her review of Accessorize in Guildford. Imma yeah. One star. Immature a staff. short commute from the inside of a volcano where I live. <laughs> Immature staff who stand around gossiping instead of actually working. <laughs> dot, not dot, a, dot. Not at Accessorize. <laughs> Immature staff at Accessorize. A shop for... Young girls to buy <laughs> whimsical and jewelry. None of the accessories I was looking for, such as <laughs> rifle scopes, <laughs> a treasury seeking missile. I was looking for some trinkets for my nook. <laughs> and they were no help at all. They didn't seem to know what I, I was talking help about. A man adorn his nook. Yeah. Uh, Cafe Nero, also in, Go in Guildford. One star. One star. Visited last Saturday afternoon. Downstairs seating was closed and upstairs was insufficiently attended. Five tables messy and not cleared. Meanwhile, staff downstairs chatting to a friend <gasps> in Terrabang. Dot, dot, dot. How did he count uh, How did he count the messy tables? Just going one by one. 
like like he's operating like an algorithm like he's walking up to each table and going like mm, no not, not this one for each like one. goldilocks mm, no, no, no. <laughs> upstairs tub chairs are uncomfortable and tables too low to be adequate for the majority of seating the walls and kitchen door look grotty use the ground floor loo to wash my hands before leaving and it was disgusting urinal needs to be removed as it's filthy and smelt just an utter disgrace Dogs are permitted inside and even allowed to sit on the furniture. Ex- space, exclamation point, space, hyphen, space. This should not be happening. I'm saying about the spaces. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Overall, this place is a huge disappointment. There are much nicer places to get- We had high hopes for Cafe Nero. That's the most interesting yeah. part for me. There are much nicer places to get coffee in Godalming. <laughs> I- <laughs> <laughs> now that's, that's true. Now that's that true. is a damning critique. <laughs> I'm so pleased that I've managed to teach you guys about and you can spot a boomer with the the space. Yeah, space, I, uh, I had no really idea. It's a really good fact. It's, yeah, like, it's, right. it's like the punctuation version of just sort of like getting the soil. They've been here. Boo- <laughs> boomers, they're not far. <laughs> when I'm wrong. posing as a boomer in chat rooms now, yeah, I'll know yeah. exactly what to do. Why are you trying to cap this boomers? <laughs> what else are you going to do? You're doing like reverse pedophilia. Yeah. You're like you're, you're pretending to be another boomer. Yeah. If you're catfishing boomers, it's no wonder you're having three Tom White songs sung at you in a karaoke booth. Yeah. I'm trying to get into as many wills as I can. Sending them messages like, "Hey, hey, Jeremy, do you remember the milkman? I remember the milkman. He'd he'd come every day, wouldn't he? No matter what the weather was like. That's I, right. I'd remember the milkman. Dot dot dot. As though you're. Yeah. And the response before we yeah. go into the, yeah. I, I give you the file. And he'd, get, and he'd give you a clip round the ear if you weren't behaving yourself, wouldn't he? And so. he'd fuck your mother. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> but it was good, wasn't it? It was very good. Yeah. Nine <laughs> months ago, one star, His Majesty's Treasury, one horse guards road. Mm. The arrogance and ineptitude of this department staff is astounding. They're especially- It's like in- accessorize all over <laughs> <you. laughs> <laughs> Urinal disgusting. <laughs> Staff on their phones. <laughs> their speciality is moving paperwork from one desk to another, processing the absolute minimum. There's no accountability or recognition for their poor conduct and appalling service. They need to be reminded that they are, in all caps, civil servants. Civil relating to ordinary citizens and their concerns, courteous and polite. Well, there's nothing very civil about their service, I'll say that. <laughs> servants, a person who performs duties for others. No, basically did this. Okay. Their delusions of self-importance are tiresome <laughs> and ineffective to say the least. They need to start earning delusions their paychecks. Delusions of self-importance. Yeah. Can you have an ineffective delusion? <laughs> yeah, well, I think we should ask no this. Hey, I have some semantic queries about your one-star <laughs> yeah. review of the treasure. Ineffective gonna... delusions is like a Jamiroquai album. <laughs> <trailer. laughs> Their one-star review of the treasure that seem to indicate this is a that doesn't face the nation. You can't call up the you know it's not like HMRC. You pay your taxes to them. It's the Treasury. They don't yeah, you not, don't talk to them. It's not <laughs> medieval times. So you just have a big clinking bag of all the coins from <laughs> under your floorboards. And what, what <laughs> service was he trying to extract from the Treasury? In, in person. I didn't even know you could show up there. <laughs> I don't think you can. Okay, bravissimo. A year ago, one star. Bravissimo. <laughs> What's that a review for? <laughs> no more clothing. So disappointing. Wait, isn't that the store for the big bras? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Equinity, wow. Sutherland House, Russell Way, Crawley, one star a year ago. Utterly incompetent. This company is a complete disgrace. Much like the MOD, <laughs> useless what? doesn't really cover it. <laughs> Much <laughs> like the MOD. This man so, loves a government department. Why do well, I feel like this podcast department. is going to be like admissible as evidence <laughs> when no eventually goes mad and shoots up Guildford? Utterly incompetent. This company is a complete disgrace. Much like the MOD, useless doesn't begin to cover it. The only positive reviews have certainly been added by staff. It's a disgusting level of service. The UK government needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror at how they treat their veterans because this company is just an example of the disregard and lack of respect they throw at them. Veterans and their families make huge sacrifices and deserve far more than this space exclamation point. Wait, so point. N.O. is a veteran with huge tits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wagamama, Guildford High Street, a year ago, one star. Turning off ordery deliver through, de- order or delivery through delivery is not okay. If you're busy, then hire more staff. I, I wish if we were at a point... My in, tits are sweaty and unsupported. <laughs> <laughs> if we were at a point in this country's history where there was more money in the National Health Service, I feel like... There's a certain number of Google reviews yeah. that should immediately trigger mental health support. Yes, yes, like, yes. I genuinely feel like that yeah. if you if you if you leave a review of the Treasury, there should immediately be you should get a call from one 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 being like, we actually would like to put you in touch I, with yeah. like a therapist in your area. It needs to be that. Yeah. And if you get over 150k tweets, 
Yes. Mm. Oh. You, it just needs to be like a helicopter lands in your garden. <laughs> and it's like when they think they've caught the yeah. when they think they've caught the killer in seven. Yeah. Just, yeah. They're swat to go, yeah. and they just drag you away from yeah. your kicking phone. your door down, going, "How do you feel about your mother?" Yeah. <laughs> the rugs warehouse two years ago, one star. Oh, wow. Really annoying search engine on website was looking for something specific, but resulted in terms items was outside my search criteria. Was looking for huge bra. <laughs> I was disappointed. <laughs> they appear to have some nice rugs available, but I don't have the time or inclination to look through them. Sort this out. Well, so yeah, should have wants, my time and inclination. He wants a service where they present you with a mug that suits you rugs. like a sommelier. Rug. Too much choice. Yeah. Yeah. Too it's, many rugs. Too one, many rugs. One star. Too many rugs. All, all we, we, we need like, you, like a, a psych, psychiatric help service on the NHS that's like fucking Blade Runner to track these people down mm. and just go, are you, this is, n this can't be yeah. what this is about. What mm. I'm desperate for is for there to be a review of the karaoke shack mm. and <laughs> to say service was, to in a word, terrible, urinals, disgusting. And in the booth next to me, I heard a Shania Twain song, three Tom White songs, and then loud sex noises. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end on that. Yeah. <laughs>